Toroidal DC Motor Concept. Hello YouTube. This video is intended for those who are interested in magnets and magnetic fields. I watched so many videos on magnet and magnetic field. I found them very interesting and educational. The thing is, I did not find any video on this concept. So please watch this video. I don't know if anyone out there have experimented with this concept. I am hoping that some of you will find it interesting as I did. I thought about it for some time now. I think it is worth exploring. In theory, the magnetic field B is given by the above equation. And is concentrated in the center of the toroid as shown in the picture to the left. According to the magnetic field equation of the toroid, increasing the number of turns or the current will increase the field. To make the field as strong as possible without running a high current, we need to have as much turns as possible. Since the magnetic field lines are oriented as shown in the picture, we can assume that they are flowing from north to south poles. The orientation look like an endless solenoid field orientation. Consider an infinite length solenoid, the field is concentrated in the center. If we put a magnet in the solenoid in an attraction orientation, the magnet will be pulled to the center of the solenoid. But what if the solenoid is wrapped around as a toroid, where would the center be? Let us make the toroid with hollow inside. Air core. The core should be big enough to hold the ring with the magnets shown at the bottom. I used four magnets but it can be as many as you can hold in the ring. The ring can be a non-magnetic ring. I am not sure if we use a metal pipe, the eddy currents induced in the pipe will work against her with the rotation. In theory, the ring, aka the rotor, should rotate inside the toroid. If we insert the rotor inside the toroid and apply current to generate a magnetic field, the rotor should spin inside the toroid. Before we start thinking of what or why, let us just consider the concept. This concept may not have any practical applications or maybe just a toy. But I find it interesting that the field in the toroid acts as if it is an infinite field. As we all know, north field lines will always terminate in the south pole. In every magnet, permanent or electric, the field lines start from the north pole and enter the south pole. Bipolar in nature and we can't find a monopole magnet. But the toroid magnetic field go in one direction as if they were monopole field lines. This phenomena is what I am trying to explore in this concept. I think the idea is clear from what I showed so far. It's very simple I don't want to bore you going around in circles explaining and explaining the concept. But there are a few questions need to be answered. 1. Will the rotor rotate? 2. How fast will it rotate? 3. How much torque will this concept generate? Unfortunately, I don't have the resources to build a prototype to test it. Thinking about it and working the physics behind it, I came to believe that it will work. As for the speed, if we consider that a constant force on an object will constantly increase the velocity of the object, then the repelling force due to magnetic field in the toroid and the permanent magnet is constant. This constant force will increase the velocity as long as it's greater than the opposing forces. What are the opposing forces on the rotor? If the magnetic field in the toroid is strong enough to repel the magnets, it should be enough to suspend the rotor in the center of the toroid. This means there will be no friction forces working against the rotation. Basically, the rotor will be suspended in the air. Another force that may come to work when the rotor reaches a high velocity is the air drag on the rotor. If this equation is true, we can assume that the velocity will increase indefinitely. Does this make any sense? I am reluctant to answer this question. If the rotor is very smooth the air drag will be negligible at low velocities. At high enough velocity, the drag will overcome the repelling force to stop the acceleration. But how fast will the velocity reach? This is what I really like to find out. All motors, DC or AC have limitation to how fast they can rotate. Changing magnetic field in a winding cannot be achieved at high rates. We know that inductance will behave like an open circuit at high frequencies. 
All motors are limited in speed due to friction and changing of polarity of the magnetic fields in their windings. I am talking about free running motors for now with no load. In this troidal DC motor, there are no limitation to how fast it can rotate. I just can't help thinking it may run at unbelievable speed. Of course this speed will be limited to how strong the rotor is before it is torn apart. I didn't forget the centripetal forces on the rotor. A 10 gram magnet will weight a ton at 60,000 RPM in 5 centimeters radius. I watched many YouTube videos to believe there are a lot of people out there who are very interested in magnets and new concepts and ideas of using magnets in magnetic fields. Many of those people are very creative and very good in constructing prototypes. Some of the machines I saw were so well constructed, I was very impressed. I am hoping my presentation will get some of those people attention and find it worth the effort to build this motor concept and try it out. I know some of you were able to build this motor concept in a very short time. For those who are interested and able, I am going to give some ideas to help prove this concept. 1. Make the toroid as small in diameter as possible. Large diameter will need large diameter rotor which will increase centripetal acceleration on the rotor and may tear it apart. 2. Do not use metallic core in the toroid for now. Wrap the wire around a non-magnetic material to prevent any heavy currents from interfering with the rotation. It may not interfere but to be on the safe side. 3. The toroid windings should be very close and tight to prevent any field lines from leaking out inducing opposite pole effect. 4. Use as many turns as possible using high gauge wire to be able to handle high currents. 5. The rotor should be very strong and perfectly round with magnets evenly distributed inside it. 6. In a solenoid, a magnet will stick to the site as shown in the picture to the top left. But there is a spot in the center of the solenoid where the magnet will find neutral magnetic field. To make sure the magnets are in the center of toroid, the rotor needs to fit tight inside the toroid with little clearance to allow for rotation as shown in the bottom left. Imagine if it works as I am hoping it will. It will be very exciting. We can't see the rotor rotate inside the toroid, but we will feel the gyroscopic effects of its rotation. I welcome any comments. If anyone knows for sure it won't work, I would like to know. Please include the reason or reasons you may think it won't work. If anyone willing to try to build and test it, please include a link to where I can see the prototype. Thank you for your attention and good luck.